Look at that right there. I don't know if you guys see that big old thing. That's a good one. There we go, baby. Dude, he ate it like a top water. It is a nice one. There we go. Come on, we are on big fish alert now, boys. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Giant, 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 giant. Yes. Today we're fishing with big worms for pond monsters. I stopped by Bass Pro and got a massive bag of a bunch of different worms. We're gonna go ahead and dump those out, go through everything, rig them up on our rods and get the fishing, baby. Let's hop into it. What's good, Tara? We got Tara out with us. It's been a minute since you've been on the channel, girl. Yeah, I'm excited to be out here. It is hot, but we are gonna catch some big fish today. We got a whole bag of big worms. Her goal is to catch her PB on a big worm today. She caught What's your biggest? It's like six, 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 I want to say. She got a pretty big bass on top water, but we got some big baits today. It is summertime. It is super hot. And if I know anything about big worm fishing, this is the best time of year to throw it when it's super hot. The bass want a big snack. They want a big meal. They don't want no snack. So I'm going to go ahead and dump all these out, show you guys what we picked up from Bass Pro. Then we're going to head out to this juicy pond right here that has some really big bass in it and get the fishing. And I have my Kicking Their Bass TV x -Lose combo today. If you guys want to check them out and get yourself one, it's on kickingtheirbass.com. They'll be linked down below. It's fishing season, baby. Get outside and catch some big ones. Juicy pond, juicy fish. Let's go. <laughs> Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could, take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. All right, boys and girls, let's hop into it. First off, we got a scale because we catching some giants today, baby. Listen, we got we got to get after it. And the first thing I want to go over is these extra wide gap hooks. When I'm throwing like a 10 to 12 inch worm, I want to use like a five to six aught extra wide gap hook. Personal preference, you can go with your regular four aughts, but we got some five aughts to go. We also got some four aughts because we have some worms in here that aren't like massive, but those are going to be good for it. But let's go ahead and go through all the soft plastics that we got real quick just pretty quick and brief hey ignore that you didn't see that got a secret little chatter donkey in there we'll go ahead and put the uh 200 receipt in there i went in the bass pro just to get some big worms and ended up spending 200 dollars somehow but i did it for y'all baby and that's why you should hit that subscribe button man we finally hit a million subscribers i appreciate that but uh our goal is two million now man let's raise the number share this video with a friend well, let's hop right into this thing. So we got the extra wide gap hooks. I also got some big shaky head hooks and uh, I'll show you exactly what worm we're gonna put that on in a minute. We got some of the Magnum Old Monsters and Watermelon Red. I'm gonna show you guys this because we got a few different colors. Look at that worm right there. That's gonna take a big old fish to eat that puppy right there, son. And that's what we're going after today. We ain't looking for a ton of bites, man. We're looking for the pond monsters. But that's the watermelon red and the magnum old monster right here we actually have some ultra vibe speed worms and june bug red those are pretty basic not like a giant worm but we have to resort to slowing down and something a little smaller we have those we got the magnum speed worms and that's in like watermelon candy great color these are the mag 2 red bug worms so these are similar to the magnum old monsters but they're a little bit smaller still a considered a big worm but definitely a different size we also have some june bug ones in that same worm and some green pumpkin ones so we pretty much have all the colors you know hatched out tara picked out this one this is a tequila sunrise old monster let's take a look at this color this is tara's choice right here it looks pretty good similar to a plum but it doesn't have the speckles it doesn't have the glitter in it and then we got some plum magnum old monsters we got some more magnum speed worms right there in june bug red and then we got this right here this is the kvd perfect plastics by strike king and uh this is in plum crazy let me show you guys this worm because it's pretty unique so this is a big worm right here but what you can do with this worm is there's little sections that you can actually break off to make the worm smaller which is kind of unique and and cool so i had to grab me a pack of those we got some 3 8 ounce lead weights had to grab some and we got the Magnum stick worm right here, guys. This is what I was telling y'all that we're gonna rig up on these shaky heads right here. And this is a whole different approach. You know, all these other worms, we're probably gonna put on a standard Texas rig, but this Magnum trick worm is gonna fit perfectly on that shaky head. So we're gonna try that out. 
at some point today. That's going to be fun. I bet that's going to catch just an absolute toad. And last but not least, I ran into these. These are by uh, Yamamoto. And this is the craziest looking worm I have ever seen, guys. It's pretty much just a <laughs> massive Sanko, dude. Look at that thing. That's what she said. And they actually call this one, I want to say the floater. Yeah, it's called the floater. It's a 10 inch worm. That's what she said. <clears throat> no. This is in black and blue and it's called the floater. So I want to say if we rig this weight list, we might be able to work it towards the top of the water column. So we have a bunch of different big worms to throw today. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get tied on our rods and try to catch these monsters, man. It is time to get rigged up and get to fishing, man. I am so excited. You guys aren't feeling it through the screen, but let me tell you, we're feeling it right now. It is a real feel of 108 degrees right now. It is so hot outside, guys, that is painful. Like, I'm not even kidding. It is not pleasant to be outside right now. But we have so many different options. We have $200 worth of options of big worms. I mean, this is just ridiculous, man. I wasn't expecting to spend that much money at Bass Pro. But I kind of want to start with something that's not too obnoxious. You know, I want to get to these big magnum old monsters a little later in the video and some of the massive worms. Let's start with something not small, but fair sized. I think this Mag 2 Red Bug Worm is going to be a perfect starter worm right here. Still a good big worm, but not overly sized. So let's go ahead and rig up our Texas rig and we're going to go with the Red Bug Mag 2. So we're actually going to go with a quarter ounce bullet weight. Those ones that I bought are 3 8 and they're just massive. We're going to go with a quarter ounce here. And instead of going with the 5 aught extra wide gap, we're going to go with the 4 aught. Some of the other extra wide gaps I got recently, I bought some cheaper ones because that's all I could find. And dude, I'm telling you, I broke off on so many fish. Or not broke off on fish, but just missed a lot of fish. And I think the barb or the point on the end of the hook was just kind of flattening out. Like they were really, they weren't good hooks at all. Oh yeah, this is going to catch us a good fish. And if this don't catch us a giant, we got worms to upsize, boys. There we go. Which worm should I throw first? So you want me don't give me a out. small worm. I want the money worm. Well, to be honest here, I feel like it's only right to go with the old monster and tequila sunrise. That's the one you chose, yeah. I feel like that's that's the money maker, girl. I like the tail on it. Yeah, that's a good looking. That's a good worm, dude. There's a big fish right there, guys. I don't know if that was a bass. I don't know what that was. But let's start casting here. See if we can get into something pretty quick. Hopefully they're biting good today. The fishing's been so rough since it's been like 100 degrees. Well, maybe today's gonna be a different day for us. This is the biggest worm I have ever fished with, so I'm very excited. The Texas rig is my absolute favorite go-to, so I'm excited to spice it up today. All right, big bass, come on. Come on now. We're just positioned at this pocket. It's a pretty big pond. You got this little pocket that's pushed back up in here, and you pretty much have this ditch in the middle. I feel like there's going to be a good bit of fish positioned right in here. So there's so many bluegill guys swimming on the banks. We see a bunch of fish popping, which is just a great sign right now, especially for it to be so hot out. I just love, you know, coming out and actually seeing other activity, whether it's birds, turtles, other fish, it just lets you know that they're not completely shut down today and gives us a lot of hope. And I don't know if you guys see that out there. There's a tiny isolated grass patch. that looks perfect for a big bass to be on. See that grass patch over there? Like in the middle? Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, I got hammered right there. He was like, doop, doop, doop. I just never had it. All right, guys, we're gonna pack up and go somewhere else. I'm gonna let these people do their landscaping. I don't want that to be blown in y'all's ear either. All right, boys and girls, we're out at a new spot now. They were just doing a lot of landscaping. I didn't want to bug y'all with the noise, but we still got our, uh, plum worm on we might switch it up here in a little bit if we don't get many bites but we're gonna keep throwing it and try this new spot there we go gosh that little one about pulled that rod out of my hand <laughs> that's the tiniest bass not what we're looking for, but geez, boy, did he bite that thing. You got that hook good too, son. Well, there's our first fish. We got uh, 
We got the juices flowing, man. Not what we're looking for. Well, we're on board with a fish. That worm is about the same size as that bass, but he is a brute. Look at that little hunchback. Thank you, buddy. Not big, but that's a start. Thank you, boy. <laughs> what in the world? Messed up my worm, I'm gonna have to get a new one. It's funny how when you're fishing these big worms, you know, you expect these just massive bass, you know, that, to catch every single time you get a bite, but sometimes that's just not the case, man. I am just glad we got one on board. But I kind of want to throw something different now. This was the Mag 2 in Plum that I was throwing. I want to switch up to the Magnum Speed Worm and Watermelon Candy. I feel like this is a sick bet for a good fish. Some about the speed worms just get bites. This one's just crazy massive. Way bigger than the speed worms I usually throw. But this should catch a big donkey. I'm just glad we're on board with the fish. Not big, but we got something so far. Had to get it started. All right, we're gonna take a move down this bank here. The bigger section of the pond is way on the other side. So this is pretty much just the starting pocket. And then it necks down right here in the middle. That's usually a good section to fish. And then it opens up way down over here. So we're gonna walk down this way and just kind of start working down the pond and see if we have better luck down here. I think some more of the deeper waters on this side. This spot right here looks so good, guys. Got some hangovers, a couple lay downs in the water down there, some bushes. Looks like a big end should be sitting here. Come on. A little bit of shade, got some wind. You got everything right here. Oop, there he is. He stole my worm. Right off. Gosh, it looks so good. I, uh, I'm actually gonna put one of the Mag 2s on just to give him something different. I don't know if he's gonna eat after taking my worm. That was a good bite though. Maybe throwing this one in here, get munched. Come on. Gosh, it looks so good, man. I just knew there was gonna be a bass there. Get off. There we go. Come on. Oh my gosh, he's eating it. Oh, dude. What is going on? He stole my tail. I'm throwing it back in there, dude. Screw it. I ain't got no time for that. It's like right under that tree. First bite felt like a bass. That one didn't feel like a bass. <laughs> Maybe he just wants the tails. I just don't know how a tiny bass could get that huge speed worm off of there. Just doesn't make any sense. Will you bite a third time, buddy? Will you bite a third time? What in the world? He just thinks we're scamming him. He has all that plastic in his mouth. He's like, I am not biting that again. Ooh, I don't know what that was. Something big swirled right there. So if you guys look back in this corner down here, there's like a like a sewer pipe. I don't know what, honestly don't know what, what that is. Some sort of pipe in the corner with some trees. That looks like another prime area. There he is. There we go. Come on, baby. A little better than the last fish, not a big one, but look at how healthy these bass are, man. Another super chunky guy. He's twice as big as that first fish, so we're getting bigger. Still haven't found those pond monsters, but we're getting bites. That's what matters. And these hooks are definitely doing their job. There we go. There's fish number two, not a giant, but bigger than the first one. And he just, totally splashed me in the face thank you buddy gotcha. he got me good first fish was tiny that one was decent not not i mean it's still small but we're getting bigger that's the important thing all right guys we are going to continue moving we are going to go to a new spot see if we can find some bigger fish and i might just put on a bigger worm so let's go ahead and uh get back to the car and move spots all right well, let's go to our new spot Yeah, I do. Dude, like why? 
have literally just taken the worm right off the hook. Man, I gotta throw it back in there. They are smoking this worm though, guys. This is the Plum Mag 2. It's a little below what I would consider like a really big worm. It's still a big worm, but walking back to the car, decided to throw another cast. Come on. There he is. <laughs> That feels like a decent one. There we go. Come on. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah. They, <laughs> it is bigger than the last two. Come here. Dude, they're so fat. See, that's an easy two-pounder. They're getting bigger every freaking time, boys. Every time they're getting bigger. That is fish number three on the big worm. Let's go, man. One took my worm, threw back in there. That puppy ate it. We're getting bigger every cast here. I'm telling you, when you hook one gonna be a giant that's a healthy fish though thank you buddy wow guys i know every fish we caught just keeps getting bigger in this pond but me and tara just want to keep on exploring who knows we could run into a pond where it's all five to ten pounders so let's keep on moving hop in the car head out to our third spot all right boys we made it out to pond number four i don't even know what pond we're on now but uh we're going to rig up a big old worm, man. We've been throwing this medium large size, medium size worm. We're gonna upgrade, man. The old big mama. Dude, what if I throw this on the shaky head, man? What if I go with the big magnum trick worm on a shaky? I feel like that. I feel like that could just catch a toad. Straight toad, we are gonna try it. Since Tara's using the uh, plum old monster. Giant old monster. Oh yeah, dude. I'm feeling this for a big bite. Let's just hope there's not like too much grass in here to where it's become, where it'll become an issue with the shaky head. Here's the old worm that we're gonna put on there, man. I'm telling you right now, if we start getting bit on this Magnum shaky head, we're gonna be catching some big fish. Oh yeah, just like that. Look at that, boys. That is calling for a giant. Straight monsters are gonna eat this thing. What's cool about this shaky head is I feel like I'm gonna be able to cast this thing a lot further. And I'm wanting to fish more out in the middle of the pond. I mean, it's summertime. These fish are getting in that deeper water. So with this shaky head, I can kind of beam it out here in the middle and I think uh, we'll have some good luck. There's also a bridge down here with some pilings on it. And this shaky head's gonna be perfect for that bridge. So the cool thing about this shaky head, you know, those big curly tail worms that were thrown on a Texas rig, I'm more of like just to drag that big worm, it just drags on the bottom. This shaky head's actually sitting upright on the bottom, just like that, kind of hopping along. It's just a whole different, it's a different presentation. That might get us some, some good bites here. There's a pipe right there. Come on. Look at that. Come on now. Not a big one, man, but right in that pipe. Dude, right when I flipped it in there, first cast. Come on, boy, calm down. He's a tiny one. I can't believe these small bass eating this worm. We ain't done, though. We hunting for them giants, man. And then palm monster. That is not no palm monster, but that was cool. It's just straight weight on that thing. I can't believe that little one had that thing all the way though. That's crazy. Dude, no way. No way. He ate it all the way. Look at that. All right, boys and girls. It is another day and we are going to be continuing this big worm journey to try to find these big bass. We got rained out the first day. I went fishing a couple other days. And look at this carp right here, boys. I don't know if you guys see that. Look at that carp. Look at that. Look at that. He's right under this grass. Look at that right there. I don't know if you guys see that big old thing. Oh my goodness. There he goes. <laughs> but anyways, I've been out two other days since the first day that we fished and had absolutely no luck. The fishing has been so tough. The weather's been so inconsistent. And today we're getting some revenge. We're putting on 
a Junebug old monster. And we're gonna cast around at this pond I have never been to before, but it just looks so good. Super clean water, grass on the edge, lay downs on the far bank. We should be able to get bit here. So let's start casting around and see if we can finally locate these pond monsters. There's another big carp right there, dude. Holy cow. If I had a piece of bread right now, you could be landing in a giant carp. Dude, there's another boil. I don't know if that's another carp. What that is. Dude, that looks like, that's a bass right there. Oh, I just got eaten. No way, dude. Oh my gosh. On our first cast in this pond, we are already hooked up. Not a big one by any means. Totally not what we're looking for. But that is a start, man. Not big, but that is more, more than anything that I've experienced the last couple days. And look at that. There's something wrong with his gill. His whole gill plate's like ripped off. But that is a great start to today, man. Thank you, buddy. Little tiny guy. I'm going to tell you right now, my confidence is through the roof. Still not what we're looking for, but man, does that feel good to get a bite. I got like three bluegill right here just staring at me. <laughs> Literally just sitting there like, what is this guy doing? Why are they all staring at me like that? That's so funny. Dude, oh my. Oh, that's a big carp. I saw a huge boil right around this tree and it's another one of those carp, but it's like three times the size. That spooked me. I feel like if I was throwing anything but this big worm right now, I'd be getting bites. But hey, we got to stay true to it, man. We ain't giving up on the big worm. Dude, he ate it like a top water. It is a nice one. Oh my gosh. Come here. Come here. He literally ate the big worm like a top water. Holy cow, dude. Oh my gosh, no way. No freaking way. Not a giant, but that's a good two pounder. I threw it right across that slop, dude. Just started reeling it and he exploded on it, bro. <laughs> Let's go, man. Oh my gosh, that was sick. That was the coolest eat today. Wow. Definitely the coolest eat of the video. I'm gonna have to toss him right here. Thank you, Bubba. Ooh, that was a, that was a belly flop. He'll be okay. Oh my gosh, dude. It just looked too good, man, I'm not gonna lie. See, that shows us right now, if we were throwing something else, we'd be getting smoked. Like for that fish just to hammer that big worm like a top water, that's, that's insane. All right, boys, we did some good work at this pond, but let's keep on moving. We gotta find them giants, man, I'm not giving up. All right, we on to another spot. And there's a bunch of bait fish in here, man. And I don't know if you guys remember Alan Bob, when he first started bass fishing, look at all that bait. When he first started bass fishing, he came out here and caught some absolute slobbers. And I've caught some good ones myself in here. So we're going to cast around for a minute and see everything we hit for the rest of the episode, guys. We're not going for many bites. We're trying to catch them big ones. We haven't had much luck this whole episode with the big bites. But we ain't giving up. Dude, look at that right there. Look at that right there. There is so much bait in here, dude. And one just hit the top of the water. I mean, there is so much bait. My mind boggled. Look at that baby bluegill that's dead right there. I don't know if you see that. And all the freaking bait. I'm so confused. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. There we go, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. I knew it, dude. I had a weird feeling that is an absolute brute. Oh my gosh, that's a brute. Look at that thing, dude. Come on. Come on. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Oh my gosh, look at how fat this fish is. Let's go, baby. Come on now, son. Come on. Don't play with me. That is a hefty three and a half pounder there. And that is one of the fattest bass I have seen 
in a long time, dude. Holy smokes. I mean, look at the back on that puppy. Let's go, son. Right on this little pole here. And I'm telling you, with this amount of bait in here, man, it is unreal. These fish are probably all this fat. That fish is every bit of three and a half pounds with how thick and fat. I cannot believe how healthy that fish is right there. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much for biting. I've been needing some big ones on these big worms. Here she goes. Holy cow, dude. Well, we're just getting started here. Hopefully we can catch some other ones. Haven't been here in like six years. I was over this way and just had a weird feeling. I'm like, man, let me go try this spot because I just know there's some good fat fish in here. And our first bite is an absolute freak. Let's keep on fishing. I want you guys to notice another thing. There's some more natural water pouring in here and that's exactly where he was hanging out. And you know, we fished all that grass down there that looked really good. And then we come over here where this like solid, I don't even, this is concrete, man. Just a, a very interesting bank. And we got bit right away right there, dude. First cast. I can't believe that. I'm telling you, we might need to, we might need to bring our dang kayaks out here sometime. Cause if we can go fish that middle island over there and really like move around this place, it could be, it could be insane. Let's not slip and fall. Holy cow, dude, that freaked me out. The dang big old pine cone fell out of that tree, dude. I don't know what was going on. I thought I was getting bombed or something, man. Look at that. I don't know what that was. Might've been another one. Yeah, there's a huge grass carp right there. Dude, we gotta come here and carp fish. I've never like specifically fished for carp, but there's two right there that we could, oh man. Oh boy. We'd have a ball. All right, guys, we're back out and we got the girl Tara with us. What's, What's up, girl? What's going on? It's taking her a minute to get out here, okay, but. the ants are going crazy. Yeah, there's ants all over the grass, everywhere around the grass. It's so weird. But we're gonna start fishing. This is the pond that we caught three at at the beginning of the episode. And we're back out to try to see if we can catch some big ones. Cause guys, there is some really big fish in here. And I just wanna see if we can get some. You know, I ended up getting that three and a half at the last pond, but we're still hunting for some bigger fish, man. I want to see some five, six pounders, and I know it's possible in here. So let's start casting around and see if we can get some of these big girls to eat. Oh, that was a carp. That was a carp. So with all that rain yesterday, guys, I think that's why we're seeing so many carp. I mean, every pond that we've gone to today, we've seen so many. It's been ridiculous. I'm feeling a fish over here, at least one. That's actually a gator out there, you see it? Yeah. Pretty big one. Oh, there we go. There we go, that's a better one. There we go. Come on, we are on big fish alert now, boys. We are on the big fish. Let's go, man. A high two pounder close to three. Gosh, they're getting bigger now, boys. Oh, let's go, man. He smoked that thing. Yeah, that's a good two and a half to two and three quarter. Big head on that fish. Look at that thing. Beautiful and healthy. Oh, it's on now, boys. We've been struggling. And today, in the last hour, these bigger fish are biting. We're getting closer to getting those five and six pounders. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Swim off. Wow. Slam that thing, too. Yeah, there should be more in this little section. That fish hit it good. That was the best bite all day. Go yeah, it was. It was a good one. They're getting bigger. And the other day, guys, we just fished down this bank a little bit. We didn't even hit the far side of the pond over there. Like, we only fished probably 35% of this pond. So, we're going to try to fish the whole thing. Oh my gosh, I got another one. I took my worm, throw it in there, throw it in there. Look at that. Took it right off. Right on. I don't know if he's gonna bite though, cause you just gotta. He's more on the bank. You got him? Yeah. Oh, Aww. Dude. He's off. That seemed like a big one. He's off. I didn't hook that hard enough. <laughs> that look, your rod was doubled over there. You can throw it back in there. I wanna throw it to the left. Gosh. I mean, I hooked that. 
Come on, girl. I thought you were going to get my worm back. I got another one. They're loaded. They're loaded on that bank. No way. This isn't a big one. It's a small one. You got one too? No way. Oh my gosh. They're loaded. They're freaking loaded. This one's kind of skinny. Nice, girl. Oh, get out of that tree. Oh. Let's go. That's a good one. It's been a minute since I got a fish. <laughs> oh, we got to get back in there. There's so many fish on that bank right there. Oh yeah, mine's really skinny. Look how skinny that bass is. Yeah, yours is yours is a good one. It's close to two pounds. I think we're gonna double up again. There's so many down there. We've finally been waiting. Fish bump. A little fish bump. So Gosh, fun. they're finally biting, boys. Let's go. Thank you, buddy. I'm throwing back in there. Yeah, that is a good one. I might need, oh, I got it. I wonder if they were like traveling through, you know? Yeah, that was kind of crazy. Cause after you even caught yours, there was more surrounding yours. Now I'm starting to think, I got another. Me too. No way. We're up again. Oh, I got a good one. Crazy. No way. They're loaded. What is going on? Look at that. That's a close to two pounder. I mean, they're not giants, but they're good fish. <laughs> you get it? I, oh my I'm gosh. Good. I'm good. I just can't believe oh how tough the fishing's been and we're doing this. Like, what is going on? Oh my. So I threw, was yours off the bank? Mine was slightly off the bank. Uh, Mine, was like feet Mine was like right on the bank there. I can't believe that. They're just stacked. There's got to be a good one up there. There just has to be. I guess the only thing we do is just keep throwing, boys. I just got bit again. Can I, I got him. Oh, I just can't. Look how tiny this one is. This is unreal. We go for not being able to catch a fish for two days, guys, to literally catching them on every cast. This is unreal. And that is not what we want, but hey, we'll take them, man. Any fish right now in the heat of the summer, we will take. That was a crazy blow up. Look at that in the middle. That was a big fish. Holy cow. This happened. This is why you gotta keep fishing, guys. Be patient. Even when it's not going your way, I was more aggravated with this video than any video in the last year. And now we're finally getting bites and just smoking the fish after four days of work on these big worm bass. I just have a hard time believing. There's another one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big one, Tara. That's a monster. This is him. This is him. I'm talking absolute freak. You might need help. Bring him in. Yeah. Hold on, I got a, I got a giant. Oh. I can't tell how big he is, but he's just, I might have him hooked weird. Oh, I do have him hooked in the belly. Oh my gosh. I thought it was just an absolute monster. I mean, it's still a good fish, but I have him in the belly somehow. Look at that. That's why he felt so big. That's a, that's our best one yet. He felt like he was a six or seven pounder guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did that even happen? It makes me think a different fish bit it and I happened to hook set and it just got into him. Look at that one now. That's a good one right there. That's an easy two and a half. Oh my gosh. This is unreal. Yep. I mean, you just got to get it right up on that bank. Look at him running at me. He came off. Oh my gosh. I couldn't tell that one was big or small just because of how he was running. There you go. I 
knocked out in the room. No more now. It's like a tiny, tiny fat one. Tiny fat guy. Y'all are biting today, aren't you, buddy? Unreal. Unreal. You want one of these on, this color? Junebug might be getting it done. Thing is, there's definitely some more spots on this pond. That feels like a good one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Giant, 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 giant. Oh my gosh, she's running at me. Stay pin, baby. Stay pin. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a four pounder right there. Let's go, man. Let's go, baby. Finally. I just cannot believe this. What is going on? Look at that, that's a good one right there. That, I won't say he's quite four, but he's almost there. He's like three and three quarters. Oh, he came off. No. He came off. Look at that fish. I'm going insane, man. The fish are getting larger, guys. Don't click off yet, it's still happening. I'm literally making the same cast every time. I had to weave through all those small ones. But Finally found a big one. Oh, the last one you caught was huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's fat. He's fat. This is crazy. You don't see this often where you can just keep throwing in on the spot. Yeah, they're by, especially in a pond. After we have time. Like, usually it's like deep spots, you know what I mean? Not like super shallow little areas see there used to be a tree see where they cut this this tree is the hangover like years ago is he running with you there you go if you get that pressure is that big one i can't tell no hey he's good oh he's trying to run no idea. He's trying to get you in that tree. Do you see that? There we go. Thank you, buddy. Wow. Oh,